bearing end. One, two, three. I can do my housing <laughs> down to here. One, two, three. Now, when you do a uh, knifing, they recommend that you keep the metal over your good wood. If you're doing a house with plain timbers and you go and you do a, a knife line and your knife goes whoop and that's a plain timber and you're going to stain it, that oil is going to run right in that knife line and it's going to show up unbelievable. So you always try to have your metal over your good wood wood so it doesn't and the first time you do it very lightly so the knife follows the metal and then the second time you go deeper and deeper and deeper and you knife that line and when we did the workshop at Fox Maple the first thing we did classroom and then we went down to the shop roll one turn towards you we went down to the shop and all the timbers in the shop were plain. And one of the students from Connecticut asked Steve Chapel, what's up with plain timbers? And he told the story about building houses in Maine, timber frame houses, for many years before he started his school. And he would go back two or three years after the people moved into their timber frame house and asked them, well, how do you like the timber frame house? And they go, oh, it's great. We love the expanse. We love the, you know, how, how big it is. We love, it. oh, it's just great. We love it. And he looked at the wife and he'd say, how about you? And she'd say, well, you know, it's rough sawn timber. And this is bandsaw, so it's fairly smooth. But circular saw, rough saw, and timber has big arcs in it, and the dust settles into those arcs. And she says, I put the brush on my wand, and I reach up there to dust it, and as much as I try to dust it, it still looks dirty. It could be clean, but it's gray because the dust has settled in there. So, she says, I, I, it's the only, so from there on in, he said, if I'm going to do a house and I'm going to do exposed timbers that are going to be oiled, I'm going to do plain timbers because the planing is so smooth, the dust can't settle into the pores and it makes her happy. So, if you're going to build a house, not a cabin out in the woods, but a house, and you're going to keep her happy, you're going to have to plane your timbers. Now, in a corner post, only two sides are showing. So you only got to plane two sides. On a tie beam, you got three sides showing. The top side's going to have the floor on it, so that's not going to show. So you can just plane your showing faces. 